Alright, so today I'm adding raisins and a different kind of nutrient. Uh, it's... Oh, hold on. Just pause it. If you... Oh wait, it doesn't say ingredients. Okay, there. Pause it right now if you want to see what's in it. Then you can buy that stuff, or you can just buy this. Alright, adding some raisins. They have a lot of sugar in them. They're condensed grapes. The grapes have a lot of sugar. And these are mini grapes that are just dried out. Or regular grapes that are just dried out. Uh, and then this will help the yeast go faster. The yeast is already doing really well. Uh, so yeah. And also, uh, raisins have natural yeast on them. If you get organic raisins, sometimes they won't be washed and they'll have the yeast on them. And you can actually start a fermentation without yeast if you add raisins sometimes. That's how wine was found in the first place. Grapes will ferment on their own. And these are really sticky too, so I can tell they have sugar. Uh, I'm also going to, I forgot to tell or to talk about this. I've got amylase enzyme which helps break down starches into sugar. So I'm gonna put that in there too to help the yeast eat the uh, eat the raisins. Because I'm sure they're gonna be hard for the yeast to eat. But doing this also helps to kind of like stir it and add some wild yeast and add some good sugar as well as some flavor. Because there's stuff in the grapes, raisins, that just uh, aren't in sugar. And that since they aren't sugar, they won't be fermented into alcohol. So you'll be able to taste them. It'll help the end product have a flavor. So now this is more like wine than vodka at this point because it's got a bunch of grapes in it. I'm <coughs> gonna end this video. I'm gonna fill it till it's about there and then cap it back up and I'm gonna add the nutrients and the starch eater. Uh, emulase enzyme, yeast energizer, organic raisins. Good for any brew, no matter what you're doing.